Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the early morning in the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ba'd a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wadduha wal layli idha saja. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the early morning. And this is a time right after the sunrise when the sun is warming you up, the rays are not piercing and burning your eyes, rather they are soothing and comforting. And this, is a, this is a moment of tranquility. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى And by the night, in its tranquility, in its stillness. This is really fascinating. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is drawing a parallel between two things that are usually considered opposites. When you think of night and day, you think of things like happiness and sadness, good times and bad times. And yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, despite the difference of these two times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is highlighting what? That within both of them, there is tranquility. What is the subtle indication here? What is the subtle message behind these ayat? And Allah knows best. But it seems that one highlight here, one indication, is that when the believer is connected to his Lord, when the believer is someone with strong iman, and that it has taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then bi'idhnillahi ta'ala, whether they are rich or poor, whether they're feeling sick or whether they're healthy, whether they're having good times or bad times, they will be able to turn back to that internal tranquility and peace they find within because of their iman. So subhanAllah, how beautiful is it that the very next ayat you find three different reassurances. And then after that, three different questions to the Prophet ﷺ, and then finally three different commands. We don't have time to go through the entirety of this surah because subhanAllah, it is such a powerful message to the Prophet ﷺ. But one thing we can say is that the Prophet ﷺ said something so amazing about the believer. That strange is the affair of the believer. Why? Because when the believer is afflicted with, or when the believer has a moment of happiness, and when good things happen to the believer, then he is grateful, and this is good for him. And when hard times come to the believer, he is patient, and this is also good for him. So subhanAllah, no matter what the circumstances are, you're always benefiting. And the believer is in such a circumstance where they know everything is temporary. The believer is confident that Alhamdulillah, if good things happen to me, then this is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore, I'm going to be grateful and enjoy whatever is taking place. And if hard times happen, then inshallah, it's an expiation for my sins. And I'm going to be okay with that. And I know that it's going to pass. And I know that ultimately, this is a test from Allah that's going to bring the best out of me. But think about the disbeliever. If the disbeliever strives for something, no matter what happens, it's always going to be a negative outcome. Why? Because the disbeliever is either not going to get what they want, in which case they're going to be frustrated, or when they get what they want, then they are going to be constantly trying hard, hustling, and being nervous about preserving what they've got. They're going to be defending against those who are jealous and want to take it away from them, and they're going to try to maintain it for as long as pos possible, which is ultimately futile, because subhanAllah, in the end, everything goes away. Or perhaps they will be able to maintain it for some time and then get used to it, get acclimated, and become entitled. And this in and of itself becomes its own curse. Because then you always need to have high value things and always need to be the best and overachiever in order to just maintain that happiness. And so subhanAllah, the disbelievers in such a state where no matter what happens, if they get what they want or don't get what they want, there's always disappointment. And whereas for the believer, whether you get what you are after or whether you don't get it, you know that ultimately everything is in the hands of Allah and that ultimately all that matters is that you will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a state of iman. And so subhanAllah, this oath is a reminder to all of us, including the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that whether you're in good times or in bad, whether the sun is bright and clear and shining or whether you're going through dark times, there's always an inner peace and a stillness that you can find within. And Allah knows best. Jazakallah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for watching this video that's part of the Oaths of Allah series presented by Al Maghrib this Ramadan. Al Maghrib is the leader in presenting premier Islamic education in the West. And we've got a lot of great ebooks as well as Ramadan resources that you can download for free at almaghrib.org forward slash gifts.